15. Joyce Braga, what has your detective work found for us this week? Well, it looks like a big E with a GM in front of it, John. Tell us more about it. Okay. At least Detroit is helping us all learn our letters. At GM, first there was an X, and then a J, and then an A. And for 1984, the letter to learn is an E, which GM says stands for efficiency. And that means downsizing and weight reduction, of course. And the cars getting the treatment are the Olds Toronado, Cadillac Eldorado, and the Buick Riviera, all top-of-the-line models. As you can see from these drawings, the E-cars resemble the GM A-cars, but the E-cars are really based on slightly stretched J-cars, making them only 103.5 inches. They'll be drastically lighter and more aerodynamic than current top-of-the-line models. Slick grills, flush body trim, and a lowered chassis should all produce lower CD numbers, which means a new emphasis on performance, too. And speaking of downsizing, you may remember a few months ago, we brought you news of the upcoming downsized GMC Blazer. Now it looks like another off-road number will get the same treatment. Even as we speak, AMC is in the process of creating the incredible shrinking Jeep. Our intrepid spy photographer got these photos of the new 4x4 Jeep XJ series, slated to eventually replace the Jeep Wagoneer and Cherokee. Gone are the rather rounded contours of the current models, and in their place, sleek angular lines and a sloping hood. Yes, Virginia, aerodynamics comes to son of rat patrol. And also gone are about 1,000 pounds, 6 inches in width, and 21 inches in length. But there's still room enough for five off-road wanderers, along with their camping equipment and lots of cold beer. The engine is likely to be a 2.5 four-cylinder or a GM-based 2.8-liter V6. Look for the new XJ in the spring of 83.